Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be checking out this character editor from Polymorphia on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So I actually reached out to them and they sent me their Marketplace asset to review. Now I get a lot of questions in my comments from you guys uh, asking where can you basically get a wide range of custom characters. So characters that are old or young with tons of different morph targets and customization. And well, this character editor from Polymorphia aims to solve that problem. Now this character editor is probably one of the most advanced and comprehensive currently on the marketplace. And so there's a lot to obviously dig into. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so first off, I kind of want to start by listing off some of the main points that make this character editor different from the rest. So basically, what this is, is a character customization creator or editor. Uh, you could basically use this as a character customization system inside your game. Or you could use this even as a character editor to, say, create a bunch of NPCs that you'll need for your game. Uh, now, what does character editor have to offer, you might ask? Well, you can create your own custom characters that look old using a wide range of morph targets. And you can even create characters that look young as well as child characters. So there is just a wide range of morph targets and customization options from clothing outfits to hairstyles per each character type. Now you might also ask why not just use you know metahumans instead. Well actually you can already use custom metahumans with this character editor. Uh, in fact it already comes with one metahuman included and you can use all of the morph targets and clothing from the character editor with the metahuman. So those are basically kind of the main points that I think make this particular character editor stand out from all the rest on the marketplace. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. So here are the base maps here. Uh, there are a couple different levels that we can check out, but first we're just going to check out the base character editor here. So over here you have your main viewport where you can rotate the character, you can zoom in, and you can pan in and out. So you have your basic controls that you normally have in a custom, in a character creator or customization uh, menu. Then over here on the left, if you click this down arrow, we have the load profiles. So basically we have all the different presets. So this right here is the metahuman uh, that comes included with the pack. We have Jackson, which is a kid character. And then we have just a couple other different presets here uh, that you can basically further customize. And then over here at the top, you have human. So this is basically uh, their base human character that comes included. Um, and you can click on this metahuman to switch it back over to the metahuman base character. And like I said, you can always add your own custom metahuman to the character editor. Now you can also switch the uh, character's gender here. So male and female. And then adult versus child. And then the name of the character. So now we're going to go over some of the customization options because there is quite a bit. So right off the bat here, you can see we have the shapes. So we can change the character's weight, so we can increase the weight of the character. Um, we increase the size, like height, and the age. When we increase the age, it adds kind of like this slouch in the back and in the character's posture, as well as the wrinkles in the skin. And now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of reset this back to what we had it. Uh, now you can also change the uh, skin tone here so you can see the different variants. And if you double click on any of these materials here or these presets, you can actually go in and change the hue, the saturation, and you can find actually a lot of control over the various colors. So over here we have the different hair options. So these are all the hair presets that come included with uh, this particular character and of course you can always change things like the uh, color of the hair 
and the tint and all that good stuff. Uh, now we do have some uh, facial hair, so it's a beard and a mustache here, animated beard, or uh, no hairstyle. Now for the face, we have a couple different uh, presets here. So you can see we have a couple different options to pick from that change the overall uh, shape of the face. So we'll go with this look for now. And for each uh, different region that you can customize, for example, the eyes, we can hit this down arrow and you can see the uh, different sliders that we have. So we can adjust the eyes height. Uh, things like the depth of the eyes, the size, and whatnot. And you also have uh, down here on the nose or on each of these uh, options, you can click randomize. So you could randomize per each control, as well as you can randomize the entire character if you wanted to, which I'll show you here in a second. So right now, we can just randomize the nose. Maybe something like that looks good. Okay, now under the mouth here, we have uh, height, size, and we also have the jaw. We can adjust the height of the jaw. You can see it like that. And the underbite. And then we have the chin here. So like I said, there's just so many different uh, sliders here and different morph targets that not only uh, can you carry over for uh, the different characters but also if you're going to add uh, say your own custom metahuman that you've created in the metahuman creator and you import into this project so we can change the eye color here and pupil scale then we have makeup here so you can change things like the lip color just going to leave it as it is. We can customize this on the uh, female character. And then under the apparel here, we have quite a bit of different clothing options. So I can just randomize an outfit, for example. And you can see we have the, the top, the bottom, as well as shoes. And then accessories like the hat and glasses there. So we can randomize apparel again. So you can see you get quite a bit of different options, variations uh, with all of the different apparel that comes included in the pack. And of course, um, you can always add your own uh, more uh, clothing meshes and, and accessories to this editor uh, through the data tables and make it actually really easy to, to do so. So yeah, once we have our character here, um, what I'm gonna do is actually make our character a little bit older. Maybe we'll randomize the outfit again, something like this. All right, so once you're done with editing your character, uh, if we actually hit tab here, you can see all the different controls, but basically you can hit C, and that will exit out of the character creator, and you can run around and uh, play as your character. So uh, these animations are obviously the default epic skeleton animations, so they actually have a tutorial on how to uh, set this up with ALS, the Advanced Locomotion System. Um, but yeah, you can actually toggle back and forth from the character editor to uh, play mode. Of course, you can you can always configure you know whether or not you want your character to be able to do that. But you can actually do this in runtime. Now this is also set up for multiplayer, so it's fully replicated. And I'll show you that uh, demo here in a second. But yeah, that is the basics of the character editor. Now we can dive into some of the other character presets here. So for example, uh, this kid here, you have the different haircuts and actually we might want to uh, get rid of the hat. So you can see the different haircuts here. and the different face presets. And of course you have all the different morph targets uh, over the nose, the mouth, the jaw, the chin, the eyes, as well as uh, some of the different apparel such as the hats and sunglasses, things like that. 
so we can randomize some of the outfits here now once you have actually a character that you've created you can also save this so I could do test character and you click save and then you can see it automatically saves here your uh, different custom profiles that you've created and so I my test character here now if you go ahead and actually exit the editor and replay it you're gonna have your uh, saved character profile there so you won't lose it by any means now you do have a couple of different uh, light settings here that I didn't cover so we can change the lighting to daylight dark presentation here warm cinematic so we have a couple different lighting options and if I go back to we will do the female character here under the beta features we have basically uh, some of some different facial animations um, again this is the beta features so don't expect it to be anything final but we have some of the facial expressions here morph targets uh, and you can also change the directions of where the eyes are looking for I'm assuming facial motion capture and things like that and also you can toggle visibility of all of the widgets uh, using some of these controls here now the randomize apparel button I've been meaning to show this off so if you click R you can basically randomize the entire character's outfit as well as like their hair you can actually get a lot of cool different um, combos here now I haven't really shown off uh, some of the female uh, character uh, presets and options here so I'll go ahead and show that off right now so here we have the different hairstyles so you can see the different hair options that we get and of course you have all the same uh, color controls as well as ability to change you know the weight of the character the age and also muscles and size so we have variants on the skin and then we also have the different uh, face preset variants so you can see the different options that we have here and again we have the finer control over the different uh, over the regions like the nose mouth jaw and chin and then we have the different apparel so you can see the hat options and then of course if you want to randomize uh, just the outfit you can just hit this randomize button and switch between some of the different accessories and so here are actually some of the different clothing pieces here so various sweaters now I believe the uh, swimsuits here are actually a different marketplace asset that they included at least for me to review in this video so I'm not sure if this comes uh, pre-included with the character editor then we can hit play here and run around as our custom character that we created now I want to go ahead and show uh, the replicated demo or some of these other maps here and so if I go ahead and play this as two clients and a new editor windows I can go ahead and show you guys so here we have two different windows uh, now we can go ahead and click R to randomize the outfit and what you'll see here is on uh, both screens you can actually see this is the particular character that they get to customize and our character is on this screen is off to the side so you can see it updating in real time there while we're uh, editing our character here so I'll just get to a random outfit maybe like so and then I can press C to pop out of the character editor and run around as our custom character and back over here uh, maybe we'll switch this to male character and we'll just randomize the outfit here real quick something like this then we press C and we can run around 
as our character. So you can see the outfits here are all replicated and all of the edits that you make happen in real time. Now you can obviously uh, go ahead and customize where the characters spawn in uh, so that you don't have characters spawning in right in front of the character editor location they're blocking like the camera so obviously you can set up like a different player spawn point uh, custom to your game uh, but yeah that is basically the replication demo so the last demo level here is this character editor thumbnail now from my understanding this is basically just a level where you can slap down uh, a custom clothing asset or accessory on this mannequin character and basically just take a screenshot of of the outfit and use it as actual thumbnail for the, your character editor now behind the scenes here I can actually dive into some of the different uh, components that make the editor that you can customize now the back end is actually quite complex and they do mention on their marketplace page that um, that as a beginner it might be very hard to grasp uh, some of the back-end systems and details of how this character editor is set up for the most part if you're going to add you know custom clothing and accessories uh, as far as I know you just go into your data assets accessories and you can see here some of the different hairstyles here uh, basically accessories like clothing and hairstyles uh, so if I open up one of these up you can see basically they're just a uh, skeletal mesh reference to like the actual hair asset uh, the name of the of the hair type as well as like the thumbnail of the actual hair and so you can go in and create your own data assets here um, and import and add your own custom hair and accessories and once you've added those in and you've created those thumbnails you can go into your base data tables you can see all of those presetted characters that we had so we had Matthew which was the metahuman uh, Jackson which was the kid you can add in your different data assets here that include like all of the different presetted options so stuff like the hairstyles the apparel and even the morph targets now they do have documentation on this if you want to check it out in fact you can access it from the marketplace page and there's about 80 pages of documentation uh, detailing all the various uh, sliders and, and controls that this character editor features and they also in fact have uh, some links to some tutorials on how you can integrate character editor with some of their other products so they have uh, other clothing packs that from my understanding integrate pretty seamlessly since they're all rigged to the same epic skeleton um, now they also have the advanced locomotion tutorial and they also have a tutorial on how to add your own custom metahuman into the editor now I feel like that was a lot to cover in one particular video but basically if I left anything out uh, make sure to leave any questions thoughts or any questions that you guys have on this product down in the comments down below and maybe if there's something that you want me to check out further uh, about this product uh, you can also ask me that in the comments down below and yeah that's pretty much it I'll see you guys in the next one